Here's a shot of midday sunshine. Hits the tank for about 45 minutes or so. And luckily there are no corals in the path. Uh, however, it does cause um, spots of algae. Uh, as you can see, the fish love swimming in it. Um, and it doesn't cause too many challenges, so I'm not too concerned about it. Speaking of light, I wanted to show you my lighting schedule for the Kessel light. I can get it here. Bear with me one second. Alright, so let's take a look here. Okay, so it's about midday intensity 70 70 currently. And what I'll do is hit this, change it, I'll zoom in here a little bit, get this in focus. There we go. Okay, so um, there's port one, port two, they're both set the same. And then that's what I meant by the pyramid um, graph of how my lights are set up. So we'll go a little bit deeper here. Okay, so port one, go down, see, go over to the program, and then it is. Quick set two. So we click on that. Go over and go down. Okay. So at noon, the lights come on and color is zero. Intensity is 15%. And go back up. Go over. And then 1700 hours. Five o'clock. Uh, we have thirty percent and forty percent intensity. And go back up. Go over. An hour later, six o'clock. It is sixty percent color. Intensity seventy percent. Let's go up over and 1930 highest point of the day 80% color 90% and tank is perfect at that intensity for filming so then from there it goes down pretty rapidly we have uh, I didn't mean to do that. Turn, okay, go over. It's at 2130. Then we go down 40% color, 50% intensity. And then go back. Go over. Lights out. And that is about an 11 hour photo period. And it seems to be doing well. And then we can click here to do a preview of the whole setup. and then lights out. I'll run it one more time and then get a better angle of the tank from the front. So we'll just hit 
preview again. So it's pretty much a nice smooth transition. Um, some things I really like about the controller, and there are some things that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. All right. So then it just resets it back, and the lights come on from there. Um, I wonder why they went with just some. Um, six if not you know seven um, data points for different time slots but I'm sure when they come out for an update hopefully it will just be a software type of update and just we don't want to save this so we hit no um, you know we can just update the software and get more functionality out of it as opposed to buying a whole new piece of um, hardware and maybe they'll also come out with an app which will probably require another piece of hardware because this is a this is probably is not Wi-Fi capable so um, let's see what else the return go up to the top go over port 1 and port 2 oh, as I mentioned they're both set the same if I upgraded to a larger tank, it'd be nice to run three or four of these off of one device. Um, but my understanding is you can daisy chain them together. Um, firmware, I assume, let's see which firmware do I have. Um, uh, firmware, I have 1.04, so I do need to check to see if that's the most up to date. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and welcome new subscribers. And if you haven't already done so, please rate the video and stay tuned for more updates.